Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up the host file system for Gran Turismo 4. The reason you wanna set this up is because it makes the modding process a lot easier and faster. It does two things. Uh, it lets you run the game unpacked so that you don't have to repack the vol every time you make a change. And it also drastically improves the loading times in general. So if you haven't already gone through the initial process to set this game up for modding, you're gonna need to go ahead and do that first because I'm not gonna be going over all of that in this video. If you need a tutorial, you can click the link in the top right corner and that will take you to my first video that covers all of that. Once you follow that tutorial and get set up, you can come back to this video and begin setting up the host file system. Okay, so what you need to get started is an installation of PCSX2, obviously, and you need a copy of the online public beta ISO that is intended for modification. Make sure that you aren't using your vanilla copy. Uh, you need to use a dedicated copy that you're gonna be modifying because you will still need to repack the vol and the ISO if you're modifying certain file types. Next, you're going to need the modding folder set up. So make sure you have your modded ISO and next to it, you need a folder containing the extracted contents of the ISO as well as a folder containing the extracted contents of the vol. Now you can begin preparing the host file system. So the first thing you need is to download three different files. The first is going to be the gt4hooks.elf hostfs plugin. Then you need the PS2 plugin injector program. And last, you need the GT4 Elf Builder Tool. Once you have everything downloaded, go into your modding folder and create a new folder right here and name it whatever you want. Then put everything you just downloaded into that folder. For this one, go into that second folder and then drag everything over. The last thing you need in here is the unmodified core.gt4 file, so copy and paste it into that folder. Now you're ready to create the modified executable that will let you run the game from the host. First open command prompt and navigate to this folder within command prompt. You can copy the directory with this button right here and then just type cd space and paste the directory and hit enter. Now run the GT4 Elf Builder tool. First enter the name of it into command prompt, then hit space. Then enter the name of the unmodified executable. Hit space, and last enter the desired name of the output file and hit enter. A new file will appear. This is the decompressed executable that we can inject plugins into. Now you need to use the PS2 plugin injector to inject the hostfs plugin, and this will create the modified executable that we need. So enter the name of the program, hit space, then type dash i space, enter the name of the plugin file, hit space, dash O, space, and then enter the desired name for the output file, and then enter the name of the decompressed executable. Then hit enter. Now we have the modified executable that will force the game to run from the host file system. Now we need to set up PCSX2, so open it up and add the modding folder to the game directory so that PCSX2 sees it. You do not need to search recursively, just hit no. And now a new entry with the cog icon will appear. Now we need to right click it and go to properties. From here we need to do three things. First, change the title to something recognizable. 
then set the disk path. Set this to your ISO intended for modding. And last, go into the emulation tab and turn on the host file system. The last thing you need to do is provide the unpacked vol folder that the game is looking for. I'm going to duplicate this folder right here. And then I'm going to rename it to capital vol underscore lowercase extract. This is the folder the game's looking for, so make sure that the name is exactly that. Then I'm just going to rename this folder to Originals Backup so that I know that this is where all of the original files are in case I need to restore something back to default. At this point the host file system is fully set up and ready to go. Go ahead and run the game and you'll know if it's running from the host if it skips the first intro screen, which it did. If you've made it this far then congratulations, you have successfully set up the host file system.